welcome back to the time. And now we have uh, Joan Embry is going to bring out another animal. Right, Joan? You have it? You need help? Oh. Isn't that? That's right, my kind of animal. This one's easy. This, this one's for you. Oh, I love monkeys. Now you're getting... Oh, hello, hello. He's, he's five yeah. months old, and, and this is mom. This is a paint roller, and it's a surrogate mother. Like some of our large rapes will use blankets, and they would still be clinging on to the mother's back so we use the paint roller, something that he can cling to for security when he's in his incubator or in the playpen when they get older, until they are independent of mom. And he's, he's sucking his thumb. How, how, old, how old is he? He's five months. He weighed three ounces when he was born. Oh, my Just God. tiny. And they were in the incubator. We had three of them. And the other two are, are also still in the nursery. And they weigh about two pounds, so they're very small. They're squirrel monkeys from South America. And they live about 100 to 150 feet at the top of the trees. And they run from one tree to another. And they're really very uh, good gymnasts in the trees. And they're able to collect the fruits and nuts. In fact, we brought one of the things that he likes. We'll see if he'll eat them. This is a mealworm. Now, I'm they your father. This is your mother, and I'm your father. <laughs> He's going to look at you. They don't yeah. have a prehensile tail like most of them. You can feed him a mealworm. Feed him a what? That's a little mealworm. That was a he worm? He loves that. I don't yeah. believe this. <laughs> oh, they're He's moving. Oh. They you love never, those. You never heard of hamburgers? <laughs> they eat fruits and berries and frogs and birds and bird's eggs. Anything that they can find in the tropical forest where they live. I hope he finishes He's his dinner. Hungry. I don't want to walk around with worms in my hand. He likes you. Boy, you made yeah? worms. He's going to really? jump right up on your shoulder. Now, with the very, worms? They're very... <laughs> right, with the worms. They're very quiet, usually, but uh, except for when they're oh, alarmed on. or a little nervous, they'll make that squeaking noise. He, he left one. <laughs> Come on. Here you go, dessert. Look at him. Good stuff. That's his favorite. He gets fruit, too, but he loves those worms. They're amazing. They're very bright, aren't they? They actually they have, for their size, the largest brain of any primate, and even larger than man's. But then wouldn't they be more, isn't the intelligence of an animal determined by the ratio between the spine and the brain? Well, the problem is we have trouble determining uh, the intelligence of animals because we, we tend to, to relate to them in terms of human-type qualities or human behavioral patterns. It's hard to find so, a constant on which you can judge all of them. But they are very intelligent. And for their, for their weight, they have a brain that's about twice the size of ours, which is twice really interesting. Size. Such a oh, small He's so bright. How come he's eating worms? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, I want to thank you a lot. As always, you're wonderful. Thank you. And we'll be back with more of The Tonight Show right after this.